Hey guys, it's Wendy from Wendy's Art. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to paint a white unicorn using watercolor. This is part of my commission work, and I will show you the complete painting at the end of the video. So let's start painting. As usual, I started with a contour drawing, and I outlined it with light watercolor using periwinkle purple. Though it's a white unicorn, it's not a pale white color. If you look closely, the white part has some purple shading. After I'm done with outlining, I started painting from the eyes and then move on to the unicorn horn. Here I start by painting all the darker parts and shadows on the horn, so the contour is more clear and easier to put on colors afterwards. Then I start putting the first layer on the unicorn. Because it's a white unicorn, I like to just paint out the shadow parts and leave other parts blank to amplify the white color. I usually mix up some periwinkle purple and some skin tone color for the shadow parts in the white subject painting. I also find the diluted sky blue color is great for a lighter shadow. It's really fun to just play with your palette, mix with different colors, and find out the best color for your painting. I suggest to do as the same if you're a beginner, cause that will really help you get more familiar with your palette. After I'm done with the first layer, I start adding the darker shadows. Although it's darker shadow, I try to avoid using colors that are too dark, cause you don't want it to be too strong for your white unicorn. So I mix up some indigo blue with purple which is darker mix but not too strong for this painting. As you can see, I apply this color mostly around the junction between different joints cause usually that's where the darker colors will be. I also apply some light pink and skin color for the brighter parts of the legs and body so it looks more balanced. Then continue adding the shadows on the body until finish. For the unicorn hair, I use sky blue and periwinkle purple to paint out the darker parts and make sure to leave some blanks in between so it looks more 3D. Lastly, I go back to adding colors on the unicorn horn and strengthen the shadow parts so it stands out more. 
So that's all for today's video. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you won't miss out on my weekly art videos and tutorials. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye.